We begin tonight with those tragic new developments in a crash that killed a firefighter and a mother. Hello, I'm Dominique Soxa. And I'm Keith Garvin in for Bill. Tonight, investigators revealed that Jason Hamilton intentionally crashed into another car head on. Shelly McKay was driving that car. She was killed, her daughter critically injured. The accident happened last month on I-10 in Waller County. And tonight, we are hearing from the family of that innocent victim. See on Rhodes Live now with their response. See on. This news has sent shockwaves for the McKay family and also the Houston firefighting family. And now they're looking for ways to make sure something like this never happens again. It looked like a horrible accident that forever changed two families. DPS investigators said Houston firefighter Jason Hamilton lost control of his truck, crashed into a concrete barrier and flew head on into Shelly McKay's car in the westbound lanes of I-10 through Brookshire. Hamilton McKay died. Her daughter was flown to the hospital with critical injuries but survived. Now, almost two weeks later, the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office lists McKay's manner of death as homicide and firefighter Hamilton's manner of death as suicide. We don't have the answers and we don't know why. The 61-year-old McKay was laid to rest today. In a statement, her husband told Channel 2 News, quote, We are saddened to learn that this was an intentional act. Mr. Hamilton's actions have devastated our family. My wife was a beautiful, exuberant person in love with life, her family, community, and friends. We're here for the McKay family. We're here for the Hamilton family. Marty Langton is president of the Houston Professional Firefighters Association. Whether it's PTSD, substance abuse, issues at home, economic, financial, spiritual, we need to do a better job. Langton says he's working to break the mold in the fire service that makes it difficult for first responders to admit sometimes they need help too. It is not about being macho, that we have to drop the guard and to address the emotional issues that are going on and that no longer is it something that you should hide, no longer is it something you should be ashamed of. And the Firefighters Association using a peer-to-peer -peer training system to help firefighters recognize the signs and symptoms of mental health issues in their fellow firefighters. As for McKay's daughter who survived that crash, she is now out of the hospital and back home with her family in Bastrop. Reporting live tonight, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.